Hey, so this is just a video um, to go along with the example that I have posted. Um, so yeah, I will be explaining the different parts um, of the paper or of the example um, so that you guys can see what the lead is, transition words, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, so if you look at the example, I've highlighted different parts of the paper. Um, this is so that you guys can see the different examples and reasons and stuff like that. Um, so the yellow part, the yellow um, sentence that is highlighted, that is the lead of the paper. That is my intro. And based on this sentence, you guys should know and the reader should know that my paper is going to explain why I think dogs are the best pets. Um, so yeah, it can be simple as that. Um, then we go into transition and the elaboration and craft of the paper. Um, so the second sentence is highlighted in purple, and this is, dogs are fun to play with after school. That's my reason um, why I think dogs are the best um, pet to have, or at least this is my first reason. And then my example, which um, helps strengthen um, my reason, is, my dog and I play fetch with the ball all afternoon. So, this this shows that I have craft. I'm connecting, I'm relating to the topic. Um, it helps the reader understand that I have experience. Like, I know what I'm talking about. Um, so, second, the second example and reason that I have included is um, the green sentences that are highlighted. Um, and this is, they also will protect the house from bad guys. My dog barks when new people are around so they know not to come close. So I will first highlight the transition word. Um, in this one, um, the transition word is they, the word they. Um, this helps the paper flow. I mean, the readers already know that we're talking about dogs. So including they... Um, it helps this uh, the paper just flow more easily. Um, so s then I also included another reason, and this is they will protect me. And so then I went in and gave another example. Um, and my example is my dog barks and um, lets other people know that they shouldn't come close. Um, so then... The third reason and example that I have given are, um, lastly, dogs love to snuggle and sleep. I sleep with my dog at night and he snuggles and snores. So this, and the first sentence in the gray highlighted um, part, the first word is lastly, and that is a transition word as well. I'm just moving into my last argument, and the reader knows that this is my last argument. Um... So then I, once again, gave them a reason um, why I think dogs are the best pets to have. And this is dogs love to snuggle and sleep. But then I gave them an example. I gave them an experience, something to connect with. And this is that I sleep with my dog at night and he snuggles and snores. This <coughs> makes your uh, reasoning and opinion that much more you know, valid. And valid, I mean, like, they they agree with you um, because you're giving them a real-life example to connect with. Um, and then the last part of the paper is highlighted in this um, light blue highlighter. And this reads, these are some reasons why dogs are the best pets to have. So I'm closing out my paper with simply stating my opinion again. And this, um, hopefully this helped. <laughs> um, you guys can go back, rewind, do whatever you need to do. But in the middle of the paper, in the highlighted, the purple, green, and gray highlighted areas, um, I gave them a reason, gave them an example, and really tried to help the reader connect with personal connections really made them think that, oh, I know what I'm talking about. Like, my opinion is valid. My opinion should be um, trusted. Um, 
and hopefully this was a good paper and example. So yeah, I hope this guy's help. Uh, this helped you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I hope this helped uh, you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.